Hello everyone and welcome to the beautiful Oma Marina and Dock where we're going to be taking a look at the newest Oma support vehicle, the Buckle Hoodoo and some of its features as well as what I've been working on and some of the dilemmas that I face with constantly updating creations. So let's get going. First things first, I want to mention that I spent all evening working on and updating my buckle lineup of trucks and vehicles. Pretty much it's a dilemma that I constantly face and it is at what point do I just let creations get kind of outdated and lost in time. If I go to my workshop and just scroll through the latest updates that I had, you can see that I've been diligently working on updating my buckle lineup. Um, obviously, I've also been updating some other things with the help of Sheppy and some other awesome people on my Discord server. We have updated versions of the altar rig and things like that. Now, this all started when I updated the rib. And when I updated the rib, I was very happy. But at the same time, I was like, well, and now I may as well go and revisit some of my other creations. And if I just search up buckle here, you could see that I have a ton of various vehicles in various states of release and ones that I've released and have tried updating. A good example for is uh, the Buckle Prairie. If we go here and take a look at the ECU, it's 7.1 and the um, transmission back here somewhere should be probably yeah v9 and we also have the uh trailer controls v2 so i have actually gone ahead and started updating every truck that i have in the buckle lineup to have either 7.7 .7 or 7.9 of the ecu it also has the latest and greatest um v5 trailer controls and the v10 gearbox so the gearbox what this does the gearbox update is that when you put the car off or turn the car off if it was in drive it will automatically shift into park so you don't have to turn it on and it's in drive this is a realistic feature in real life if you turn the car off while it's in drive you can't pull the key out so it just doesn't let you um this ecu and especially my uh so I guess the 7.7 .7 is the latest one. So the 7.7 .7 ECU has a little mode where the battery, um, if the battery is determined to be low charged, the car will actually rev up just slightly. If you've ever paid attention to your car when you're kind of running a lot of electronics, you may hear your alternator kick on. Uh, likewise, if there's ever a truck in your neighborhood cleaning furnaces and ducting, you could hear the engine revving up. Like it's almost like a generator mode on an engine in the car itself. So I went ahead and added that to this feature. Now I've done tons of work to get up to 7.7 .7 on this engine and I'm pretty happy and stable and with how stable and good it works. And lastly, the trailer controls. Now, I know that there are lots of competition for different types of trailers. I've explained before and I will reiterate again now, um, while I do appreciate the other types, the, the what I like about my trailer is it works both with the um, gooseneck trailers, it works with hitch trailers, and it works with semi-truck tra uh, co connectors as well. So all three types of trailers connection work with that one microcontroller. So I find that extremely advantageous because I do make a lot of consumer vehicles and pickup trucks and cars, not just semi trucks. Um, so it does help to have multiple types of connectors connecting to the one single uh, trailer, which is trailer V5. So I will at some point release my own system and explain to everybody how it works. And I'm not trying to take over the existing ones, but if people want to utilize mine, they're more than welcome to. So I will go into that at some point. Anyway, as I was saying earlier about a dilemma, I have tons of vehicles to over 200 creations, some of them extremely awesome, but extremely outdated. Do I go back and fix this creation and re-upload it as a new creation? Do I upload it as a fix? This is a constant source of 
um, problem for me, let's call it, because I do love my old creations. Like this ship was on the home page, it was my first creation, but in here, if you even start it up and take a look at this, it's extremely outdated. While still useful, and I could even see some errors, but while useful and good, it's not anywhere near my newer creations. So stuff like this, I'm probably going to release in MK2. Stuff like um, the old GTCs, unfortunately. Um, either I leave them be for the time being and just kind of keep working on my buckle lineup. I've not quite decided how I'm going to tackle this, if at all. I may just leave them as they are and, you know, they're functional and good enough. But if you want my more recent lineup of properly working vehicles, you have the buckles. So I've been releasing these since um, 2022. Of course, those ones looked quite different, uh, both interior and exterior. So since then, I've um, ramped up my style and a lot of these have become sort of outdated. Now, not all of them even made it into the workshop, but for the ones that did, either what I'll do is fix them up and re-release them, like in the case of this um, OMA support vehicle. But I probably will most likely either scrap this one, put it in a, as a hidden folder or hidden file, and then just... Um, make a new version like this is the old like the call it 2004 edition that has a different um front end whereas my newer versions very subtle differences of course not everyone may notice but my newer versions have a different grille a different front fascia and are definitely much better to drive and operate so i'm gonna work through editing and fixing some of this. It is a bit of a thankless job, especially because each of the vehicles that I release or re-release, I place inside my buckle showroom here. So all my buckles will end up with a nice um, profile picture. So you could see that I just released the new picture of the buckle stampede here. Um, I do think that looks a lot more flashy. Of course, I do like these, but this type of thing takes a long time to make where it looks kind of like an advertisement. Uh, but I will continue to do that, of course. I just like the style. And I went ahead and did this for a couple of my older creations where I just redid the photo. But of course, you could see it's 2022. The original posting date was November 2022. So stuff like this, I know that is um, even the original version, albeit it was manual, but I transitioned all of them to automatic. Um, and then throughout the years, slowly updating them so they are functional and good. So I'd say the whole buckle lineup, with the exception of some of my very, very early releases, such as the Fragi, these, this one here is different and outdated, but this one is from January 2022. So these are this is almost a year before I released the uh, rest of the lineup, let's say. So, anyways, it's a little thankless in a sense that not everyone's going to know they're released. So if you see them pop up in your workshop here near the top, make sure to check them out, see what they're all about, what type of things have been changed. Comment if you want, let me know what you think, because it's a lot of effort to keep 200 plus creations updated, honestly, and I don't want to just release them and stop updating them but the more that i release the harder it becomes so maybe i'll need a team of people eventually that can help me but until then it's all myself so instead of making cool new uh ships that i have planned for y'all i'm instead making uh changes and updates so i can have my previous creations running as smooth as possible all of which leads to this creation the new buckle hoodoo that I've been working on. Now this truck has actually gone through several iterations, this being the latest one. This is also the color scheme that's going to stay for the new creations that Oma has. I did want something a little flashier than before. Inside, it's the standard assortment that you find inside a buckle hoodoo. So nothing too crazy here. You have the cloth seats, no sunroofs. 
I will add a button for OMA facilities, just like we have the Alta facilities, because uh, I do plan on making some OMA facilities that have little gates. But what you will find that this truck has that the other versions of the Buckle Hoodoo do not have, first of all, are hazard lights. So you have the um, hazard lights flash and there's a little roof beacon. Now it's not a construction vehicle, but it is a vehicle that, you know, can be doing sort of work and towing things. So you have to have it to be visible for all. Also, in addition to that, we have a front spotlight and we have a rear spotlight. Now, the idea behind that is if you are towing, for example, or pulling a boat out that has some issues, you can then have your spotlights on. And this truck actually has two inches that I put. There's one kind of on the front bumper guard here and you have one in the back. Now, if you open up the back tailgate, First of all, you'll find that there is both diving and scuba equipment. So if you have to go and repair something, I will add an underwater welding torch if you have to repair some things underwater, like a boat. But up here you have cables and hoses and ropes. Uh, this food pump, you can actually turn this on and it'll charge up the equipment. Yeah, there is a dual call it pipe here that attaches to both of these but for some reason it only fills up whatever's in this slot i'm not sure if that's a glitch or it's because it's closest to the pump but regardless uh it is good to be able to fill up your equipment now over here is the small winch that we can actually swim out and attach to a boat that needs towing and if you pull this up you'll see that the boat is now coming in you could even hear the winch working. So if there's a boat that's kind of stalled out or otherwise problematic, you can use this to bring it a little closer to shore. So that is what's nice about this truck. Now it doesn't have the dually or it doesn't have the uh, gooseneck trailer configuration, but even still, I will be releasing a version of the trailer that does not require the gooseneck configuration. This is just a simple hitch style trailer that you can attach. And then once it's attached, you can go and drop the leg. So this configuration works quite well with this truck. And especially now this truck being like the marina support vehicle, you can easily utilize trailers like this for any type of uh, operation that you may find here in the marina. And I'm going to push that boat back a little bit with my trailer. Alright. Now we get the trailer in orientation where you can actually pick up the boat. The trailer comes equipped with a rope, so you could attach that right in here and then use this to bring your boat up onto your trailer. So it's a nice system for those vehicles that don't have the gooseneck style connectors. There you go. And then of course you can put the rope back where it belongs. And there you have it. So nice use of the truck. Also, another thing, people always say if you hold, like, they like uh, creations where you hold S, it turns into reverse. I like S always being the brake, because, in, of course, in real life, you hold the brake pedal, it doesn't start reversing. Reverse is only a gear, so I'm holding brake while I put it into drive, and I could actually give RPM and go up without it falling back too much. Now we go over those bumps, the trailer clears it quite nicely. And there you have it. So we were able to bring up this rib with our new marina support truck. This will be released shortly here, if not already by the time of this video. And hopefully everybody can utilize it and enjoy it alongside the marina. So what I do want to say is that all the votes came in, whether it was the 
Oma Marina or the Alta Gate facility and the Oma 1. So this is going to be released first. So stay tuned for this creation. Stay tuned for other creations as well as content, contests, and all kinds of fun stuff. As always, thank you for watching and happy stormworksing.